Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. And today, we've got a pretty big move to the upside happening here in the cryptocurrency market for the Bitcoin price chart and for a lot of the altcoins. So right here on the screen, I do have the total altcoin market cap chart. We're going to take a look at this for a little while, and then we're going to bounce back and forth between this and the Bitcoin price chart to try to make sense of what's going on in the market. Uh, I've been working on this video quite a bit this morning. It's probably like my fourth time recording it. And in the end, what I'm trying to do is explain complex topics in easy to understand ways. I do know that, you know, for the most part, a lot of people who are watching this channel probably don't have a huge background in like really understanding Elliott Wave Theory, Fibonacci's and all that kind of stuff and figuring out how structures are in markets. So uh, having to kind of redo this over and over to, tr to really explain it in a simple to understand way. So let's slow it down and talk about what the things are that I see happening here in the market. If you caught yesterday's video, I had discussed that I was accumulating this dip down in here. I'd posted over on my Twitter that most altcoins have pulled back 40% or more. While they likely will go lower, it's not a certainty. My goal has been to buy at a 40 to 50% discount. We're in that window for many. I expect more down, but I won't let this opportunity slip away and must grab and accumulate some here. Expecting the shorts to close out, expecting another little bit of a dip, and while shorts really closed out, you can see that over here on the, the Bitcoin USD shorts over here on Bitfinex that they certainly did close out, and that while well, the price continues to rise. So today's video is out a little bit later today because I was trying to see, are we going to be able to get through that level right there? Are we going to get rejected by that level? So I've got a couple of different structures I'm looking for here in the market. In the end, my opinion is that we're still going to be coming back down into this price level. Now, let me say this. I'm not some overwhelming bear. As a matter of fact, I'm over 98% long in this market. If the cryptocurrency market fired to the moon... I would be positioned very, very well for that. I would hope that it would. It would be phenomenal if it would. But I do have the expectations of real realism, or I have realistic expectations in understanding market structures and market cycles and saying that, you know what, it doesn't seem the most probable that we're going to go do that just yet and that it's going to take some time to work out this price level before we can go on and do that. While I did accumulate yesterday while we were down in here, did a little bit of quite a bit of accumulation down in here, you're not not going to catch me in a long shot uh, buying anything up in these price levels and I'm going to explain in this video why. One, I still believe we have to come back down into here. And then now I have to say, well, what type of structure are we making right here? My hopes were that we could wrap up this correction as soon as possible, kind of getting something that would look more along the lines like this and then, hey, it's over. Let's go. Um, but as we break above this level, that doesn't appear to be what's happening. And it does seem more likely as if we're doing an ABC correction that is going to be prolonged um, and take longer. Um, again, this thing could just completely change its mind at any time. But as I get these off the screen, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But uh, the, the thing that I would like to see happen the most, just because from a time perspective, we could all move on with our lives from this moment in time would be a, a break back down below this level. And then we just go ahead and get these things wrapped up. We have kind of seven waves uh, for, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We finish it and then we just head our way on out of here and get this over with. In my opinion, that would be the best case scenario because we can wrap this thing up and get, get it over with. We finally started seeing some fear in this market. We got it yesterday. That's the first time we had any fear in here since January 22nd. And then uh, we haven't really had any serious fear in here since uh, October and September of last year. But we got some fear cool let's make it wrap it up and let's get on our way and this in my opinion would be the fastest way that we could get that done but we have to we have to say well what if that's not what we're doing what if we're doing a complete abc correction and this thing's going to be drawn out for a much longer time and from a structural standpoint with us taking out this level i can see that structure now so i'm going to start discussing it and what something like that would look like and how prolonged it would be now if you've tuned into this channel many times if you've taken my course on bcbacker.com we go into very big detail about Fibonacci retracements. Fibonacci retracements are incredible. Um, essentially, it's just a percentage measurement of where prices are retracing to after a move has been done. Last week, I discussed that, how we could see that on each one of these dips that they were retracing back to specific levels before they would turn over and continue moving to the downside. Well, here we go. We now have a retracement set up for the entire move that we've had over this month. And I see a very specific structure happening here. I'm going to show you this very clearly. Okay. So first of all, we have five waves that take us down to the downside right here. And we can see one, 
two, three, four, five, right? And then after we do our five waves, we do see an initial retracement rally that takes us right up over here to this 618 Fibonacci retracement level. You can see how this comes in just right here at the 618 retracement level. And then we head back on down and then now we're breaking back up above these levels. So this is providing a lot of excitement for the bulls. They think, hey, we're all in the clear. We're now going to be retracing and heading back up. But I'm going to show you that it's not quite time to actually get those bull horns on just yet. Because if this thing does continue moving to the upside, I really think we are actually just doing an ABC correction, well, which which will eventually lead us all the way back down to here. So it's not actually something that gets us in the clear. Um, it will provide euphoria in the market. The retail investors will get really excited. They'll think we're breaking out. They'll think we're going to the moon. But the reality is that's a very normal structure for us to have, to have one, two, three, four, five, A taking us back to the 618, and then C leg taking us up to this retracement level. If you'd like a good example of that, here is the top of Bitcoin back in 2017. And you can see this right in here you can see the one two three four five and then you have your initial a retracement which takes you back to the 618 fibonacci retracement level followed by your b leg getting you down into here just like we're seeing right now and then your c leg takes you up to the retracement level before it turns over and rolls on itself now the thing is of course that marked uh, a really devastating blow to the to the market at that time and it's not my opinion that we're going to be going that deep however if we do start moving to this to this level right here i don't think we've seen enough fear in this market yet to really shake people out and i think we'll see a lot of the optimism a lot of the laser eyes come back a lot of the you know p famous people coming on and saying things are fantastic all over again buy whatever coin but the reality is from a market structure this is what we have to assume is happening it's what i have to assume is happening at this point Again, I'm 98% long on this market. Do I want this to happen? No, I want it to keep going. Um, I, you know, I, we want up every single day, right? But the reality is these are normal corrections. So if we end up getting that, similarly to what we have seen previously, it would be completely normal. So you're not going to catch me buying anything as we're up in here. My accumulating did happen down in here, but I will not touch anything up in here. I'm also not a day trader, right? So my expectations are that, hey, it's going to fall from here, but I'm not going to be selling anything. I'm still holding on. Most of my digital assets that I own, I've owned them for over a year. I have ridden through all the volatility to get to these moments. And I don't really like making this kind of video because it's kind of like initiating this warning. And I already know exactly what the Twitter personalities are going to be like commenting on my stuff because they're always the same. They're the exact same style of people. They're the people that are going to get wrong footed. People who say, thank you for selling me your bags when you did, or ha, yeah, here, I'll sell these to you at the bottom because they're going to go lower. Those are the people who are always getting wrong footed. And I can tell uh, from my experiences in the market that as we approach C, if we do, right, I don't know right now, but if we do approach C and if this is ABCing, like we've seen many times before, the market will go euphoric, just like it always does. The market will think things have returned to normal. The market will think that we're breaking to the upside and that things are going to get crazy. But extreme caution has to be implemented at this time period because we haven't pulled back as far as I think that we need need to go for Bitcoin and for the total altcoin market cap. Again, don't interpret this as me being wrong footed in this market. I am long. It would actually be worse for me for the market to pull down like that. But the structure says that seems to be most likely. So the only thing there is for me to do right now is sit on my hands and wait. Either we're going to get a pullback that takes us down into there from here or we're going to see the market get euphoric. We're going to see all the retail investors get wrong footed for a second time. And what happens when retail investors get wrong footed for a second time is where you hear the screams for manipulation. Also, this is a really great place where we do see news narratives show up. Back in 2017, the famous China bans Bitcoin occurred at this time period. So some type of really devastating, scary news occurring from that moment is the precise location where we've seen it before is that it gets up here, it starts kind of waddling around in here, a little bit uncertain, and then incredibly damaging news comes out and then it falls back down to the level. So if you'd like to see an example of what I'm talking about right here in this type of pullback, let me show you a correction from 2017. Here's a pretty good example in which we would be somewhere around in here. 
And you can see that the correction would pull it down and then the retracement pulls it back up to the 702 retracement. And then it kind of goes sideways for quite a bit before finally capitulating all the way back down into this price level, which is what we're talking about right here, right? We're talking about coming back up to that 702 retracement level right up in here, waddling sideways and then capitulating down into this price level, just like something like this. But it's still unknown at this point. It still has to kind of play around. In the end, my opinion is we're not breaking to the upside just yet. And if you're lucky, if you want an escape, there may be that escape that takes place up there, that 70.2% retracement. However, retail investors do not have a tendency to sell at that time. They have a tendency to buy at that time. So the market moves up. They're convinced that we're going to continue breaking to the upside. Then the market breaks down from there and they call for market manipulation but it's a very standard typical retracement and in the grand scheme of things it's an a b c correction very normal and so i'll zoom out here on this total altcoin market cap in the end the big picture right we look at the big picture it's bullish man i mean it's just back testing or lady it's bullish lady <laughs> i know that there's ladies that listen to my channel and i'm always saying man and, and saying come on guys pull out your journals um no i understand there's ladies i appreciate everybody who watches my channel that's just kind of the way i talk um, but anyway, look at it. I mean, it's back testing the all-time high for the total altcoin market cap. In the grand scheme of it all, it's bullish, right? Understanding that, hey, it's going to continue, in my opinion, the altcoin market cap is going to continue breaking up significantly higher to the upside. The thing is, I think it's going to correct. And when we look at these percentages, so like if I take it off the log scale, you can see how big these swings are. We're not talking about baby percentages here. People coming into this market, you know, we're, when we look at something that's like that, that's a 33% correction. The problem is people new to this market, they think they can day trade it. They think they're smart. They look at this, they see ups and downs and say, I'll just sell the ups and buy the downs, but that's not what they do. They end up buying the ups they sell the downs and then they buy the ups again and then they sell the downs again so they get wrecked twice in this market because retail investors new people in this market they're actually operating on their emotions and the protective mechanisms that have helped them in most of their life however your emotions and those protective mechanisms engraved in your dna will not help you here you have to be able to do the opposite of what you feel. If you think you have a feeling, hey, I have this feeling that it's just gonna do this, your feeling is wrong. Feelings don't work in this thing at all. <laughs> So I think anybody who's like getting into this market and just saying, you know what, I have a huge time preference. I'm just holding on for dear life. Dude, I think it's going to be fine. That's my personal opinion. I think the altcoin market is going to absolutely rampage having that long-term time preference. We're just looking at short-term time preferences right here, right? What's going to happen here with an ABC correction over the next week or two? But when we're looking at like a month, or two months, we're looking at, in my opinion, huge rises in the altcoin market cap and in the altcoin market. But right now, there's so many people whose emotions are all over the place right now, all over the place, making crazy irrational trades right now, trying to nitpick 5% here, 7% there, 10% there, and they have no idea what they're doing, and they're just getting wish-washed all over the place. If you don't know what you're doing in this market, take a big zoomed out look at it understand that this is in general the broad perspective of what is happening in here is the altcoin market is back testing the all-time high how long it takes to play out is something that we all just have to kind of wait on is it going to take a couple of days is it going to take a couple of weeks is it going to take a couple of months it's going to keep tricking us over and over again on the time perspective and a lot of these altcoins are at incredibly attractive prices for long-term cycle perspectives. I was talking about the ones that I'm going after in yesterday's videos, such as Zcash, Dash, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, and Ethereum Classic. All of those are still massively suppressed. Could they lose 30% in some type of flasher? Sure they could. 40%? Sure they could. But having that long-term perspective on where they're at within their respective cycles and understanding that the altcoin market cap is merely just backtesting its all-time high will tell you that, you know what, if you have a bigger time preference, things should be okay. I have to be careful with my words there because I can't guarantee anything to happen in this market. I can just tell you what I'm doing, right? And whether or not that ends up working out. But broad perspective, looking at the market in this in this way and saying, look, we're back testing the all-time high. It kind of makes that smaller time frame stuff seem kind of insignificant. 
But the problem is those are big monstrous swings that we're talking about there in the short term time preference when you're looking at the altcoin market cap like this. If we do end up retracing back up to that 702 right back up in here and then it does fall back down to that level, that's a 26 percent loss. For the people who lost all the way down in here and then ended up selling here, they took a 23% loss. Then they bought back in here thinking we were breaking up and then lost 26% all over again. So careful, patience. We're going to get through this thing okay. Just remember, when people are saying laser eyes, diamond hands, we're going to the moon, that typically means the market's a little bit too excited. But all right, that's it. We're going to the moon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But all right, that's it. That's going to wrap it up for this one. I thought I'd just show you guys what I do see and that uh, I do see the potential for those things to play out. So um, I am very long on this market and I'm heavy, heavy in those altcoins at this point. So, all right, I'll wrap this thing up. You guys can check out my website over here. This is bcbacker.com. It's where I've got a ton of videos on here where I deep dive into the previous Bitcoin bull runs and the different altcoin market cycles, showing them how they all tied together and how they've worked in the past. I talk about my personal exit plans in here. We talk about forecasting, talk about rebalancing, the mathematics of all of this stuff. Um, I have provided some updates in here. You know, last week I did add the part three uh, to the blockchain backer exit plan as I was uh, moving out of Bitcoin in there. Um, and you guys could check this out over here on bcbacker.com. You could follow me over here on Twitter at bcbacker. And with how fast and wild the price swings are right now, I do recommend you follow me on Twitter because I do post stuff over here. But otherwise, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope that you're doing okay. I know that this was kind of a down downer it felt like a downer because i've got I, a lot of times i go through and i do a lot of the editing before i get here to the outro and kind of like say my goodbye and stuff like that i listen to it and it's like kind of like hey listen it's going to fall and, <laughs> it, and then that's why I, I decided to include that part of let's look at the big broader perspective of the total altcoin market cap that it's back testing the all-time high having that that bigger perspective of what's going on the thing is that i understand a lot of people have come into this market who just thought they were going to get rich really quick when they saw all the diamond the diamond hands and laser eyes um, and all that and uh, the tesla stuff and uh, michael saylor micro strategy adding more and who else did it too right grayscale added more too right so all these people kind of got pulled into this market all at the same time and then kind of didn't and then all of a sudden the rug got pulled on them right and the reality is from my opinion is that the really big play in this market is not going to be bitcoin it's going to be the altcoins but that the altcoin market is still in somewhat of a correction right now and we just have to be patient but understanding that the altcoin market cap is just back testing the all-time high and we just have to wait for that to kind of play out so all right Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you could be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor. But if you ever need to pick me up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.